What's going on guys, the Brack Attack here, back for part 30 of Let's Play Pokemon Emerald. And last time we took on Mount Pyre. And in this part, we're going to see that stuff has got serious. Maxi got ahead of ahead of them. They both got they what they wanted though. Team Aqua got the red orb and um, Team Magma got the blue orb. And I think they say yeah they never they should never be separated. They keep peace between the legendary Pokemon. Yeah, what they leave behind? Wait, they left. Wait, they left behind something. The Magma Emblem. I think I think that allows you to get into um their base. So yeah, this guy's gonna yammer on. I don't really want to hear his tail. I don't think any of you really want to hear it either. So we're gonna use Vibrava, we're gonna fly to Lily Cove. We'll take on um Team Aqua's base first because it's easy to get to, you don't have to go through all these routes and stuff. You basically go up here, you go right, you go down a few of these jumping things, and you go over here. Wait, wait, no, 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 no. Yeah, I think you... Wait. So what are you supposed to do? I think... I remember I had lots of trouble getting them to move. I'm pretty sure you have to get them to move. No, you don't. No, you don't. You have to get them to, to move to go to, um... What is it? Oh, I can't remember. Is it ever... Is that ever Grand City? No. Is it Sutopolis? I'm not sure. It's where the seventh gym is. And I never knew how to get them out of the way. Here we are, the Aqua Hideout. Wait. What? Oh, you have to go to... Gotta go to Team Magma. That sucks, because... I wanted to go to Team Aqua's first, because it seemed so much quicker. Whatever, we'll go to Team Magma's. I dislike Team Magma. Like, compared to... Well, I dislike both of them. They're evil. But, like, I like, um... Uh, Team Aqua better wait. Is it Lava Ridge I need to go to? Actually, no, I got a Fallover or Fallover or what? However you pronounce it. Pronouncing poke names in Pokemon like cities and stuff. That's tough. Okay, let's try and fly through here as quick as we can. Slugma. Level 14, that's pretty low. I don't think my Pokemon were anywhere near that when I came through this area. I mean, I'd beaten like three gyms already. I don't know why it would be so low. It's really not even worth fighting them. Even after last um, episode, I said, you know, it's free experience. Sometimes it's just a waste of time. It gets tedious. I actually had a pretty good run through there. I didn't run into any um, wild Pokemon after that first encounter. So as we continue our way to... What's the mountain called? This should tell me, shouldn't it? No, it's called... Oh, there. This is Fiery Path. I can't... Oh, let's try and remember it. Mount... Chimney. Chimney. I'm pretty... Is it Mount Chimney? I think it's Mount Chimney. Hopefully it is. Don't want to seem like a. I don't really know my stuff when it comes to Pokemon because I'm relatively knowledgeable when it comes to Pokemon. More knowledgeable when it comes to Pokemon than most other game series. We get yet another random wild battle against a coughing. Never really caught a coughing before. Maybe that could be my final member of my team. Nah, no, because it's way too underleveled. But yeah, I'm still looking out for that final member of my team. I've got Rayquaza is going to be in my team, but don't know the other Pokemon I'm going to have in there. So we f we travel the cable car up here, which is a nice cutscene, but it can get tedious once you've gone up the mountain two or three times. It's kind of like when you cross, is it Skyro Bridge, I think? It's a really long bridge to get to the big city of the game. I can't. Oh man, I can't remember 
names today. I'm in a real rut here, but yeah, the biggest city. And um, yeah, um, yeah, you're going across that bridge and pull. That opens up the base. And at first, yeah, it's all cool because it's like, oh, look at the graphics. After that, you just like really. I do not care. Like, I just want to get to the, the the other side. So, level 28 Torco. Finally, we get some decent um, Pokemon to get experience off. Always thought that um, the sprite for Torco was weird in this. It's like, got the cloud of smoke always around it. Like, it's still coming out of its nose. Oh, you had to paralyze me, didn't you? And serious, how much does like your speed um, paral like drop when you're paralyzed? Does it always make you go second? Because Torko is a slow Pokemon. I, I assume Crawdon is like quite faster than it, like significantly faster than it. So hopefully I've got strength on my Aaron. Ugh. Hopefully I can teach it strength. So let's boot the TM up. Yes, and Aaron can learn it. Hopefully, it doesn't have four TMs, or HMs already. There we go. My I've still got two spots. Aaron's just suddenly become my uh, HM slave. Which, uh, when I caught it, I didn't think I was gonna actually really use it at all, except for Flash. I'm pretty sure that was. Did I use it for Flash? I think I did. That was my initial. Reasoning for having it on my team, I, or was it cut? It was one. It was one. It was cut or flash. And I believe I don't. U I didn't use flash. I think I just tried to get through that cave. Um. Well, you self-destruct really. Whoa, that friggin' that did heaps. Yeah, but that was kind of stupid. Uh, let's heal it with a super potion. Use it on Crawdot. That should be enough for now. Oh, I hate I hate self-destructing Pokemon. It's like if that was a shiny Geo dude, I was screwed then. Unless I had a Master Ball, which I don't have at this stage. I'm pretty sure. Hopefully, Graveler doesn't do the same thing and just self-destructs. No, it just uses Rollout. Doesn't do much though. Hopefully this does good damage, super effective. So, hopefully we get to battle- oh my god, these wild battles are doing my head in. So I'm gonna run from this Geodude and probably put- I'll oh, give Crawdon a Paralyze Heal, Paralyze Heal, whatever it's called. I don't think they spell Paralyze right in it, yeah it's- Par paralyze heal. Never really understood why it's called paralyze. Not paralyze. Maybe that's the correct spelling for paralyze. So, so we continue along with the seven thousandth random battle. It's just uh, random battles can really get tedious in Pokemon. I think that's one one of the biggest downfalls of the games. Is that when you just run into Pokemon after Pokemon after Pokemon, and you're just like, come on, I want to like actually do something like worth my time instead of just you know continually, yeah, oh, I'll battle this Geodude, I'll battle this Geodude, I'll battle this Geodude. Oh, new Pokemon now, it's a Graveler. I'll battle this Graveler, battle this Torkoal, battle this Zubat, battle this Zubat. It just gets so repetitive. Like I mean, the actual game itself, like even though. It, each game is pretty much the same at its core. That doesn't get repetitive, but the the wild Pokemon encounters can get repetitive, especially in caves. Caves are the worst. And unfortunately, um, Team Magma have decided to build their base in a cave, so they must die because of that. They do have the better uniform, I must say, like over Aqua. Aqua's is just crappy. It's like a poor attempt at being pirates. So, 
let's teach this magma grunt a lesson for being associated with an evil team who um build their uh, bases in inside caves. You don't do that. You build them either indoors or in a cave, but put normal ground in it, like um. Uh, Team Aqua do because they have a cave, but am I supposed to be in here? I don't even know. But yeah, look, good experience, even if I'm not supposed to be down here. I sure I am supposed to be down here. I never really understood what the point of these grunts were with just one Pokemon. I mean, I guess it does give a sense of there's lots of people in um, Team Magma and Team Aqua. But, wouldn't, like, the first thing on the agenda would be, if you're gonna, if you're gonna have, so say you're Maxi or Giovanni or whoever you are running the evil team, if you're running it and you're gonna have, um, like, your grunts actually, like, doing, like, protection-based stuff, so they're protecting the base or the going out there performing a special task, you would think they would at least supply them a decent Pokemon. Like Mighty Anna, yeah, that's actually pretty decent instead of all the other bloody Poochiennas or, um, what is that, they had a Numa before, yeah, so that you think you'd give, they'd give them like Mighty Annas and other Pokemon of that nature, not like Zubats? Like, seriously, Zubats never did anything. At least evolve them into a Golbat or a Crobat. You can't succeed in life using Zubats. It's just a fact. So, another wild battle. Put money on Geodude. Oh, it's a Torkoal. Would have lost that money. So, Crodon still has not got up to level 34. Protect shouldn't even be a move in Pokemon. It's like it banned in competitive play because people spam it and stuff. It's just annoying. It shouldn't be a move ever. They should never have created Protect. I don't even know when Protect was created. I don't think it was first gen. I would say second or third gen was when it was released. Leaning more towards second gen. I think I'm. I think I recall it being around then. So Crawdorn's basically on its last legs. And here is another grunt. Hopefully I've gone the right way. Okay. It's got two Pokemon and Bell Toy. At least there's a bit of variety now. It's starting to really just come into its own this game with the Bell Toys and the Mighty Enners. But none of them are a match for um, Crawdon. Crawdon has been a beast in the past few parts. I go, let's lower it up. Look at its attack, 107, where all its other stats are like 70s. And speed down in the 40s. Trying to learn Taunt. No, thank you. It's going to send in a Zubat. Well, there, there goes the creativity. I guess they gave him a Bell Toy because he had such a crappy Zubat in the first place. So they're just like, well, he's gonna have a Zubat. He's gonna have to have a backup. So, gaining about a snail's pace of experience each time I defeat someone. Luckily, I um, timed that right to get the magma um, grunt. I hate trainers that run around and then you can't get it exactly right so you can battle them. That annoys me so much because, like, I just want to battle you. I don't want to be chasing you around. It's I'm I'm training to, for the Pokemon, not the marathon. And we're about to come up on defeating about the 700th Team Magma Grunt. Oh, there's no PP left for that. Crawdon really needs some better moves. I mean, protect, alright. If 
I I don't even know if I ever need it, but vice grip sucks. So hopefully I'll get like a non-water based type move. So we continue on. Hopefully no random battle. So far so good. What's down here? You can go outside. I don't know where I'm going anymore. Yeah, well, even if I've gone the completely wrong way, at least I'm getting experience out of it. However little experience it it may be, it's still experience. I mean, the Pokemon League, like their Pokemon levels in that are only like level 50, right? That's what they are usually for the game. So I'm assuming that Hoenn's um, Pokemon League are roughly the same. So hopefully like my Pokemon are gonna be really good when it comes to that and they're gonna be actually like at the right level to take them down quite easily. It's like when I was recently replaying white, I, I bought the guide for black and white because not because I need the guide, but because the guides are pretty cool. Some cool pictures in it and it's got like a lot of um, little tidbits of information. That it can give it gives to you throughout throughout it. Um, yeah, and in it it said recommended levels to take on the elite four, like for each elite four member or something, like 55 or something. And my Pokemon were, like nowhere near that. I think I had one Pokemon ending up getting close to that, and like the rest I thought, were like probably four levels under at least. But uh, yeah, eventually I got through, and it was heavily relying on that Pokemon that was like the recommended level. I used my Excadrill. That was an absolute beast. Whenever I play through Gen 5 games now, I'm having an Excadrill on my team. It's so good. Like, words cannot describe how good it is. But it was a real pain in the ass trying to catch it in one of those dust clouds early on in the game. That was a ball breaker. So, we've taken on a lot of grunts. Might as well get this, um, um, Pokeball. And we take on the Uptainth Geodude. I'm gonna end up running out of PP for, um, for Crawdon. And it's gonna come at a time when I'm gonna need it, which will be against like their executive people I found a nugget, I don't know why a nugget would just be laying around oh, can you turn? oh my god this close to getting out and that's it not, not, not having it I'm gonna run from this Geodude I'm sick of you Geodude it's your angry face so we go out here now with all these machines. <laughs> so we're at we're at 18 minutes in the video, and he's talking about Groudon or Grudon. Still, again, again, different pronunciation depending on where you live, your accent and stuff. So hopefully, I can actually get to like the big battle, or at least before it in this part. Take out Baltoy, no sweat. Is that all he had? I think he only had one Pokemon, didn't he? Yep. So he passed some great wisdom. And I'm gonna skip this battle as well. We'll go to the double battle, and that'll just about wrap it up. <sighs> no, I don't wanna battle. Go away, Torko. No one likes you. People always like um complain about that like there's no 3D like Skyrim type Pokemon um, RPG like on the Wii or the Wii U I think that would be incredibly stupid because the way Pokemon is it's basically based around um, a lot of random encounters with wild Pokemon and then if you do transfer the game over to something like that you're gonna like kind of ruin the game because if this was translated over to a realistic kind of thing, like that, 
you would see like 60 Zubats flying around at once, or like Geodudes, all there. It would be rather silly, so I'm kind of glad um, Nintendo have not had like a foray into um, console actual Pokemon um, games. And I'm loving the Gen 3 mechanics for Surf, where you don't, um, your teammate doesn't take damage. That's pretty epic. So, we're done for this part, I guess. Thanks for watching, guys. Um, unfortunately, we couldn't get to the end of Team Magma Base, but um, that'll come next time. Um, if you liked the video, thumbs up, give us a comment, and um, subscribe. So, thanks for watching. Catch you next time in part 31.